Yes, uh, welcome to this tutorial. This is our lesson number eight, and we are going to carry on from where we started last time when we looked at a database. Uh, and before we continue with this lesson, I just want to take us through a quick review of what we've been uh, covering in the previous lessons. Remember where we started from? We in the first lesson looked at how to create a database and then create a table in it and that was very successful we later on looked at how to choose the appropriate data types for the particular fields and also add records to those fields and that was very very okay then after that we looked at how to format the fields give them the different formats that they need uh, the, which are very appropriate and the uh, in line with the kind of data that we are being given and that was also well done we also had a look at how to create a, a form and use it to enter the records in the table and indeed we did we did look at a form and it was very successful we later on looked at a report how to create a report and then we finally looked at the form uh, buttons we uh, tried to add some buttons to the form and that was very very okay as well now today in this particular lesson we are going to look at a new object remember I told you in the very beginning that uh, we have several objects that we're going to look at the first the very first one was the table we then looked at a form we looked at a report and then today we are yet going to look at another object and this object is called the query so in tutorial number eight we are going to look at the queries remember uh, in these queries we are first of all going to look at what a query is now just by definition uh, a query is like a question that we ask database in case we want particular kind of data to be retrieved taking an example where we could be having a school database and we want to get out particular students from the class maybe a database is having classes from senior one to senior six but then it may be very very difficult to go and access data of a particular student if at all we have to scroll through the uh, whole database it may be very hard so database gives us the opportunity to use queries to be able to retrieve the data that we want and in this case uh, a query becomes the question that you ask a database to help you retrieve or return the data that you want particularly and now we are going to look at uh, basically three kinds of queries that we are going to put our emphasis on the very first one that i'm going to explain is a text query then i'm going to explain what we call the number queries and we are going to finally look look at what we call the date queries and then later on we are going to look at how to use wildcards in queries now just one thing that we need to know is uh that every kind of query has a different approach that we use when we are working them out and we are going to look at one at a time so that we exhaust all of them and now let's get started from where we stopped last time now looking at this question that we had previously we looked at this database called Ibusuju GP and uh, it's not the question that we are supposed to approach but we are going to look at this database and the very first thing we are going to look at is how to create a query which steps do we take when we are creating a query where do we go when we shall finish establishing that then we shall be able to go and start creating the queries now let's uh, get to the database that we created for this particular question and see what we need to do to be able to create a query now here is the database that we created for that question that has been right there so when you look at this database all the records are here and now supposing this database or this table had a thousand entries or a thousand records you find that it would be very very hard for someone to retrieve a particular individual 
And so that's when we bring in the queries to help us return those that we want, particularly. Now, let's have a look at how to create the queries. <coughs> like any other object that we looked at, for example, a table, a form, and a report, even queries are created from the tab create. So our tab is here, create. We go to create. And in this case, we basically use what we call the query design. Now, when you click on query design, that's the interface the database brings you. Now, this interface is brought with tables, queries, and both. Now, if you go to tables, all the tables in a database will be displayed. For this case, we only have one table in our database and that's why it's displaying as a basic data table. Then if there were any queries in this database, they would also display right here. And finally, this option combines all of them, the basic uh, the tables and the queries. They would all display. That means you can create a query from a table, a query from a query, or a query from both, a query and a table. Now, let's go to tables. You can see that we only have one table in our database. Now, for you to be able to get the fields from the table, you first add it. So we go and add our table. Now, having added our table, we come and close off this dialog. So our table is right here. And indeed, when you check through this table, all our fields uh, they are in. We have fisherman ID, name, sex, date of birth, contact, and district. Now that implies we can add any queries that we, I mean, any fields that we want. It's also possible to add one field and leave the other, or add all the fields, depending on what the question has asked you to do. For instance, if this question requires us to add all the fields, we go and start clicking, double-clicking on each field. Then it appears down. You can check where it is going. And all the fields have been added. They are added down here. Right here. And down there indicating the field is fisherman ID from which table? Basic data. Oh, that there is only one table. That implies if you added two tables and you add the fields from the two different tables, then the table name has to also be specified right here at this point. Well, now that is if we are required to add all the tables. And I mean all the fields. But what if we do not need all the fields? Maybe let's just go and remove all of them, all those that we've added. I can go and remove all of them. Maybe we are required to add just particular fields. Fisherman ID. Maybe date of birth. And the district. Maybe that is what is required for this query. We have added only the three. The others have not been added. So it depends on what the question has asked from you. You go and add that particularly. Nothing else. That is also another point. Uh, what if you also know that you're supposed to add all the fields and you don't want to disturb yourself adding one field at a time? Just go double click on the table and drag it from, that po from this point and drop it. Then all the fields have been added at once. That is if you're going to add all the fields. So that is the basic way of creating the queries in database. And so, having reached that point, we are now ready to go and see how to start creating the queries. And in our next lesson, we are going to start by looking at what we call the text queries. Have a blessed day. That is the end of this tutorial. Let's wait for the next tutorial. Thank you for listening.